Howdy, howdy. All right, so the X-Max has finally got some time in the shop. Uh, I had a little blowout. So while I'm tearing it apart, I am gonna go ahead and install this guy, the brace, the original, the OG, the amazingly done CNC aluminum. This thing is solid. It's got the, the best bearings in it. What is it? It's got the Jim's bearings. This thing, I'm gonna put it in now before I bend that center shaft instead of after, right? Why would you do it after? So I haven't done this before, but uh, I've got a bigger truck on the lift, so hopefully I can work on a little truck. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna set us up. We're gonna pop this top off and we're gonna get started. So, since we're doing the center brace and we're not worried about separating both halves, I shouldn't have to worry about pulling the motor because I believe we're just gonna do the bottom. So, gotta have the pack out with your bits and holders. Jesus, I don't know what I went and did. I can see two screws. <laughs> see, there's a reason to get some of those screws. Now, those two I wasn't supposed to take out. I'm just looking at the picture from X Max long. So we'll go ahead and we will set our torque all the way to the wall. Now, there we go. Okay. So, see that? We ripped it in half. All right, so let's move this out of the way. Okay, the rear. All right. So I think the easiest way chuck it up. Look down it. Seem straight. Good to go. Okay, so let's get back to this. All right, so right there's a spline that that goes into, and this is where the brace goes. So what I'm gonna do. 
So I'm gonna get my air. Let's give it a good cleaning. We're waiting for the compressor. Okay, so we're cleaned out. You can see this profile and this profile line up. Seat it all the way in, and you're gonna know that you've got it right. One, your shaft's gonna go through all nice and smooth, and then you're gonna feel it engage into that spline. Okay, you're good. So there's the general of your shaft install. <laughs> shaft. Okay, now I'm gonna pick this back up, line that up, and get it to where you can hear your splines grab. Give it a little general rotate. Click. Let's flip it back over. Everything looks good, our gap looks good. Okay, so brace is installed. Now we're gonna go ahead and put these general screws in. Okay, so that's all she wrote. I'm not gonna put this on, like I said, because I'm gonna go ahead and replace the rest of these screws. But as you can see, four wheel drive's engaged. Good to go. You guys want it, you want the original, it's the brace from Dennis Smallbone. This thing's pretty sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and keep working. Uh, this video will be a smaller clip on its own. So if you wanna see how to install the brace alone, otherwise keep watching. And you can see all the little fun upgrades I do with the X-Max.